Hello again. Great to see everyone back. Welcome to all my students, new subscribers, newcomers, educators. Welcome to you all. Welcome to Rec at Home Basketball Drills. We have some fun activities and some great drills going on for you this week. So tune in, stay attached, be ready, and let's get it. Before we get started, we want to take the time to stretch. Preventative measures call for preventative things to keep you from getting injured. So you must stretch. First exercise that we're doing, squats. Now we're doing one-legged squats. We're gonna start with our left leg first and then our right leg. We're only gonna do seven dips. Now we're doing vertical jumps. This helps with your core as well as your leg strength. Now we're doing our squat stretches, first with our right leg. These help improve our quads, our hamstrings, as well as our core. It also helps our lower back. This exercise is the calf raise. We haven't done these yet. These improve our calf muscles and their functions, our lower leg abilities. They help with the jumping and running. Now we're getting our blood going, we're doing our cardio, we're doing those jumping jacks, 
get all those blood vessels working throughout the body and getting the heart pumping real good. Now we're going over a jump stand as a part of our warm ups. Here's a closeout drill incorporated with defensive slides. As we stated before in our earlier classes, closeouts are very important. You have to get out to your opponent who catches the ball that's able to shoot the ball. So you want to be disruptive on defense as much as possible. So in this drill, we're going to be closing out, mirroring the ball, and also going into a defensive slide with the back pedal. The jump back is instituted when a player is using a sweep or a jab step. When they go into a triple threat, you want to jump back to give yourself space to help defend whatever the opponent is going to try and do to get past you. After a rigorous drill, Burning our legs with the defensive slides, we get to that free throw line. Our next drill focuses on rebounding. And with rebounding, you must keep the ball up high. Also with this drill, and keeping the ball up high, if you come down with an offensive board, we want you to keep the ball up so you may be able to get a putback. A putback is where you score from a teammate's missed shot, you keep the ball up high, and you go back up for another shot. You also want to keep the ball up high because you're tall with the ball, you don't want to bring it below your knees to where defenders, especially those little pesky guards, they like to reach in and steal the ball. So you want to keep the ball up high, or as we say, chin the ball. But for this drill, it's a rebounding drill to where you have to keep the ball up high. This drill right here is a tough one. It's going to require endurance. This one is going to stabilize your upper and lower body. You're using just your legs to get to the basket. When you get to the basket, you're maintaining that ball above your head at all times, throwing it up on the backboard, going up and getting it. Next is our Rip and Drive series. Rip 
grip and drive is very important in basketball games. When you're catching the ball, or when you're making an offensive move to get open, so coach like so, I make an offensive move to get open. Counter step. I come up to the opening or the spot where I want to receive the ball. I fix my leg in an inside position, shading away the defender. And I get my hand target up. So this is where I want to receive the ball. Once I receive the ball, I want to take my inside foot that I planted. And I want to take the ball and I want to rip. You want to rip the ball. And when you rip the ball, you want to rip it just below your waistline. Rip it just below your waistline towards your knee. And then drive to the basket. So we're going to be doing our rip and drive series. And then we're going to include another drill with the rip and the drive to kind of keep the defense off balance when you're making an offensive move during the game time. As we move over to the left side, now we're using a reverse pivot. This is our footwork. We're reverse pivoting, facing the defender, sweep, rip, and then getting to the basket. Now we're doing our swing series. As you can see, coach fakes the ball one way, comes back hard to the middle for a pull-up jump shot. The swing in this particular drill is you catch, swing the ball out, swing it back in, and get to the middle and shoot. Now we're getting right back into some conditioning. Conditioning is always a factor going into your basketball season. You want to be in shape. You have to be in shape. So with these four cones, we're going to be working on some footwork, some defensive slides, and some agility jumping drills. Please watch. Conditioning will always be a factor when playing any kind of athletics, especially basketball. Maintain an elite level of performance. Make sure that you're doing all that you can to stay in shape. you want to focus on staying low, keeping yourself and the ball as low as possible when making the move, or when enabling yourself to get open or to get to an open spot. So we have four fixed cones on the outside, we have one in the middle. What we're going to be doing is similar to a stacking drill that we did earlier, but our main focus is picking up the cone, stacking it on top, getting to the basket, and scoring a shot. 
but we're gonna make sure that we stay low. So we're going either direction. The free hand will be stacking the cone, resembling staying low. Here's our staying low drill with ball handling today. This drill just teaches you to be low with the ball and be explosive getting to the basket. You're stacking that cone in the center, you're tapping it, get to that basket. Two consecutive hard drills. Let's get back to that free throw line. Woo. Here's our challenge drill today. Coach always has to challenge you. And this is one of two challenge drills today. So, be focused. For the first challenge drill, we have four cones. Next to each cone is a basketball. So this is a four spot shooting drill with a twist. You're trying to go four for four in these various spots. And when you practice this at home or in the gym, or with the prospective player, teammate, relative. You can put your spots anywhere you choose. But for today, coach has these spots at these various spots. Next to each cone is a basketball. So, I have to try and go four for four. The twist is, if I don't go four for four, coach has to do a conditioning drill and five push-ups and try it again. The best out of the two rounds is the one you're going to score. Here's challenge one. So coach didn't do too hot there. So now he has to do the conditioning and the push-ups.
for our final drill today and our second challenge drill. We have a seven spot shooting contest. So we're going to be doing three shots on one side and the exact same shots on the up opposite side. And then we have to conclude it with the seven shot being from the top. Okay? So our, our shots will be as this. Throw the ball on to ourselves. We worked on that passing drill last week. So we throw it out to ourselves. Catch it, we're going to shoot. Rebound it. Throw it back out. Back to our curl spot. Catch it and shoot. Rebound it. Come out. Going for a layup. We're going to do the exact three shots on the opposite side. The seventh shot is the kicker. When you complete those three shots, you got to come out here and you got to knock that one down. Now we're trying to go seven for seven. Okay? And if we don't go seven for seven, we got to do some push ups. All right? Here we go. class this concludes our our segment this week i enjoyed it coach is exhausted that drill right there that one is a good one continue success to everyone those who started school this week prepare your minds body and thought 